it going YouTube and the Three Hammers uh, family? This is Stanley from Three Hammers Reviews and Gaming. I just finished episode 94 of Dragon Ball Super. Um, and this episode was, you know, it was pretty interesting. Um, I, we got to see Frieza finally return. Now, um, not, not a lot happened in, in this episode um, that... You know, it's, it's, it's not, there's not a lot that you re really big that needs to be noted, except for one thing. Um, so, as I talked about in the last episode, that or about the last episode and the last uh, uh, discussion that I did of the episode last week, um, Universe Four and Universe Nine's uh, Gods of Destruction were talking, and um, so now we finally figured out what this whole plot is. So pretty much what has happened is the God of Destruction's uh, four uh, Quetella, I think, think it has to say in the name, and then uh, Universe Nine um, Cedra, that's how you say his name. They came together and have decided, hey, what we're gonna do is we are gonna get um, a bunch of assassins together and we're gonna take out Frieza. Um, so what? The reason why this happened is the God of Destruction for Universe 4 has said we, my uh, spies have told me th that they are planning on coming after you first. So they pretty much are making Universe 7 out to be uh, bad guys. I mean pretty much everyone hates Goku anyways because this whole term is happening because of him. So uh now that they have Frieza and they have watched videos of what you know the, they call it the God 2 kind of like you do uh, and they watched what Frieza has done before and he just you know of course he's destroyed all kinds of planets and everything without even thinking because he's a, he's a villain and so now they're like well now that they have chosen this guy to be one of their last member that automatically makes um, Universe 7 evil I mean, it was pretty stupid for them to get uh, Frieza, uh, and it's pretty much sealed their fate as the villains of all the universes, and everyone's going to come and attack them. So, pretty much what's happened in this episode is it's, it's pretty much, um, you get to see Master Roshi uh, trying out a new move, um, like a shockwave move, and he talks about... Uh, Say, you know, he's pretty much trying out moves that he can use to pretty much incapacitate people uh, or, you know, to paralyze them, keep them from moving or whatever because, because you can't knock them off. Um, you have to stay, you can't fly or anything in this tournament, so you can't, you know, be knocked off. The Master Rush can't fly, anyways, you know. So, what he's done is, is he's mastering moves to immobilize people, so I guess like Goku or Krillin or someone can come in and knock them off. Um, but it shows him training on Corn Tower, which is pretty cool, and you get to see him try a new a new move. So that was awesome. <clears throat> um, it uh, had them, you know, uh, a lot of the members were sitting at Bowman's place, you know, talking about um, the tournament, and they asked Goku, "Oh, how did you get?" So he just agreed, and then. He had to pretty much tell them, yeah, well, I said that we would resurrect them if we win and we don't get erased. And everyone freaks out, but then Weiss just, you know, chuckles a little bit. He's like, well, besides the fact that you guys, he's promised to come back if you guys win, it's not that big of a problem as, you know, us being erased from existence. Now, the thing is, is if the universes are erased, the only people that are going to stay around, and I wouldn't really call them people more of, uh, the angels, which is Weiss and all the other uh, advisors of the gods of destruction. So he has nothing to worry about. And this caused a lot of speculation that maybe there's a bigger plot going on for this tournament than we think. And I feel like that's kind of got debunked in a way. So, um, after that, it's pretty much uh, Goku's got to pretty much wrap up everything. Um, <laughs> He's asked Krillin to go to the island where Android 17 is with Android 18 to pick him up and to drop off Goten and Trunks so that since they are going to stay there on the island and keep poachers from 
uh, you know, killing the animals, and as Goku puts some monsters there, and, and you know, taking their skins or their horns or whatever, as valuable. <clears throat> um, then, after that, uh, once they go off to, you know, pretty much get everyone, Goku goes back to the fortune teller Baba's place and tells her, hey, all right, we're ready. Go get Frieza. So she leaves, gets Frieza, um, and when Frieza shows up, they have uh, Goku and Frieza talk a little bit. Frieza punches him, says, oh, my hand slipped. And Goku punches. Frieza said, oh, mine slipped too. And they're just chuckling like they're friends, which is really weird um, to me. But it's I think the reason why it's like that is because they uh, look at each other as I, you're a worthy adversary for my power, um, and that's awesome but kind of weird at the same time because they're chuckling, they're you know being all friendly or whatever. I guess you call it friendly. Well, after that, the all the assassins are there, and uh, Goku's asking them, "Oh, why are you here? What, what's going on? You're trying to keep us from the tournament." Because if they don't make it to the tournament on time, they will be disqualified and the universe will be erased. So it's like they didn't get to do anything. They're automatically gone. So Frieza shoots one of the guys with his little, you know, death beam right off the bat. And that, that right there is Frieza. That is the villain. That is Frieza. That's what you want to see. You want to see Frieza just pow, shooting them when they're with his uh, death beam. So that was that was pretty cool. And then he powers up and goes golden form, which is going to be awesome. And, of course, the episode ends there. Uh, the preview for the next episode, um, it just, you know, it's going to be pretty much him stretching his legs, pretty much, is what's going to be going on. He's stretching his legs, going to be fighting, he's going to kill all the people, whatever. But then I feel like it's going to come down to they're barely going to make it to tournament on time and, and almost get erased. That's what's probably going to happen um, either next episode at the end of it or it's going to happen like at the beginning of the 96th episode. So uh, my thoughts on this episode, it, it was it was your typical Dragon Ball uh, episode. And I noticed that the animation, especially when Goku and Frieza are in the same scene, is amazing. It, it looks like... It, you know, I mean, it's got more color and, and it's sharper than it was in Dragon Ball Z, but the animation was amazing, you know. You can tell that, um, that it just it felt felt like uh, the animation for these two is, is always going to be great, especially when they're the same scene because there's a lot of love for their rivalry. Or not really rivalry. I guess you call it a rivalry, yeah. So the the love for the rivalry and Frieza is one of those like everyone's favorite villain for the Dragon Balls uh, universe. So it was really really great animation uh, when they were in the same scene. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little under the weather, so I'm trying to keep talking loud enough to where you guys can hear me. Um, so it's gonna be interesting because I can already see the way Frieza is going. He's going to be straight up villain. Everyone's going to be gunning for Universe 7. Um, I think Pick and Frieza was a poor choice because now it's really um, cementing the fact that they are villains, <laughs> pretty much. And, but Goku is completely different from what we know from uh, Dragon Ball Z. He's an idiot, in this, like more of an idiot. He, ha he just... His personality is different from what it was, you know, from what we remember in Dragon Ball Z. Um, I don't know if he's going to end up being a big bad or something. I don't know, but it, it's it's strange. Um, but it was it was an interesting episode. There wasn't a lot going on. Uh, you can see that everybody's gunning for the Universe Seven. Uh, you can see that everybody's plotting against them, and it seems like Universe Four is trying really hard. Because you know they're everyone. Everyone's scared. Everyone's scared, but everyone's trying to find a way to get rid, rid of Goku and his team, because it is Goku's fault. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed um, me talking about this episode. Like I said, there wasn't a lot going on, um, but I am looking forward to the tournament. It's coming. It's almost here. Uh, but if you have any like type of speculation, um, what do you think the whole thing is? Do you think there's a uh, deeper meaning 
is there some plot because the angels aren't going to be you know be killed when the universes are erased um, do you think there's something you know bigger going on is Frieza going to end up being a good guy that's probably a definite no um, and is Frieza gonna does Frieza have like another form is he gonna power up even more you know when they get to the and when they start fighting in that tournament is Frieza gonna kill someone and get erased on the spot that that is something that we need to look at is it Frieza gonna not hold back and kill someone and get erased um, I'm pretty sure that there will be people getting erased because they fly or something or I'm not sure but I feel like some crazy stuff's gonna go down in this tournament um, I hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe to our channel um, if you have any comments go ahead and comment um, I hope you enjoy this video and keep coming back I'm gonna be doing this every single Saturday night when the episode drops I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna jump up on YouTube and put up the discussion alright guys you have a wonderful night